Free Birds. It's freely from Go Free Yourself. Welcome to another episode. So I'm just filming this in the car at the moment because I have screaming children across the road in a school and this is a very busy town where we're traveling through at the moment and the internet is just a little bit choppy so I'm glad that I can get you this video. So today's video is on this epic dry shampoo recipe that I love and that gives me some real longevity in between shampoos. I think you're going to really love it. So you will need a container to put the recipe in, a mixing bowl, a funnel, some essential oil, another mixing bowl if you're special like me, <laughs> and cinnamon, and you'll need some cacao powder and some yucca starch. Or you can use cornstarch, or you can use potato starch, or arrowroot, or any sort of starch that you can get your hands on. I chose yucca starch because it's local to the area where I am in Ecuador. So take about a half a cup, as much as you want, a third of a cup, and put equal amounts of cacao powder with the starch. But if you have darker hair, I recommend you put a lot more cacao because it acts as prevention of that kind of grey, white, powdery look that you don't want at your roots, especially if you have darker hair. But this is kind of the mix that works for my hair. You can put optional cinnamon, it's good for the scalp, it smells nice. You can use whatever essential oil that you choose and I just love orange, wild orange is so nice with chocolate, you know, chocolate and orange together are really really amazing but you know some people, some girls really like lavender in their hair so just choose whatever you want, you know whatever smell you want to go for and during the day like during the day I actually open the container and I sniff it and it's so so good. Alright so put it into a bowl to mix it up and just combine combine the recipe together. If you find it's a little bit white for your hair you just add more cacao and you'll be fine. And I find that a really good container to use is a herb shaker. The herb shaker is just like, it's great, you can put it into your bag to go and it is fine. And you just put in a funnel, use a funnel because that's just much easier to get the mixture into the herb shaker. Or you can just try and chuck it in, but it's going to be pretty difficult. So you just put it in there and you tap, just tap 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 the funnel until all the mixture goes into the herb shaker. I mean you can use any container that you want but I just find for takeaway it is like really awesome just to have it in your bag for when your hair gets greasy. And then that's it. You got the recipe right there. And all you do is you take it and kind of separate your hair like into sections or you can just start at the top and whack it on there and just put some onto your roots like that yeah don't be shy just get it in there and separate your hair and kind of move it around with your fingertips and then brush it through and if you do it correctly you shouldn't see any evidence of the dry shampoo in your hair so let me know in the comments below if you have your own dry shampoo recipe to share or if you have some experience and soon I'm going to bring you a role play with my former anorexic self which should be really interesting. Alright, free birds. Love you guys and I'll see you next video.